So if I really quickly hop off of the hype train with the RTX 50 series, I don't really think that that's the best looking graphics card. However, that's just my personal opinion. Second thing right here, I just wanted to cover with you. It's not really quote unquote news, but it is something that I wanted to talk about. We got a quick little update regarding the AMD Ryzen 9 9900X, and then a quick little update regarding the Intel Arc Battle Mage GPUs because your boy is really rooting for Intel right now just because situations i doubt i need to explain with amd and nvidia so this right here it is absolute clickbait it just goes over the actual design the heat pipes and how they're keeping the graphics cool and then right here it says the pcb's length indicate that the design could be for something new a uh, geforce rtx 50 series cards perhaps an rtx 5080 Woo! no 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 copyright ladies and gentlemen all right so come here I don't for I obviously am I don't want to get copyrighted guys I'm not gonna like play the music it's a 3d render anyways real quick just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money you do not pay me anything until you see the video the performance the benchmarks and all of that kind of stuff so again link down in the description below I don't really think that's the coolest looking graphics card I personally think Asus makes the best looking graphics card put all the hate that they're getting right now aside um, and I really do feel like they make one of the best looking graphics cards out here. So the second thing, anyways, that's, that's all I need to cover here. It literally is just covering what it could possibly look like. The second article that I wanted to cover with you is just three, three reasons why competitors are not going to be able to keep up with Nvidia. So pretty much what happened, and this is like, I'm actually ha okay so this is actually a really good timing for this for something for me to talk about something like this because I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the doctor disrespect situation that's been going on and if you're unfamiliar with the doctor disrespect situation you're probably aware of like the sniper wolf stuff or whatever like so these influencers these creators these companies these businesses Nvidia Intel Apple Microsoft, Amazon, Walmart, etc. Like the the way these companies end up crashing and failing and stop being on top is if they do something bad. It's the only way that they like lose that progress. And what happens in business is you get something called momentum. And when you have momentum going and you're running your business properly and Jensen is clearly running his business properly you 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 get not the momentum allows you to build up this uh i want to say reinvesting but that's not the word i'm looking for so you it's like the compound interest so i'm trying to think of the word i don't anyway i'm just going to say it the way that i'm going to understand it it's going to take a little bit longer here for me to explain but it is what it is so <laughs> I just can't think of the word I'm trying to think of. So when Nvidia has this massive amount of money and they're they're constantly reinvesting this money that they have into very smart people, into new AI programs that are smarter than those smart people. Sorry if I offended the smart intelligent humans watching this. <laughs> it's just a fact, bro. Um, so like you 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 get this like momentum which leads to this compound interest which basically leads you to be unstoppable and the only time something happens where it takes you off of that path to not be stoppable brain fart moment is if you do something wrong like if you actually do something wrong and that's why i brought up the doctor disrespect situation the sniper wolf situation um Amazon and Walmart haven't done anything right now. Uh, but like my, the reason I'm explaining this is because these companies that get to the top, they stay at the top unless they make some massive mistake, like becoming a PDF file, which there is absolutely no proof. Like I'm just, dude, okay. There's no proof behind that. And I'm not defending him, but I'm also, I have 
enough of an open mind and I have enough of human courtesy to realize that that's the worst stamp you can put on somebody like the opinions that people stamp and then like the the, the opinions of that people give that's all the internet is man and it, it's very sad to see what can happen to people just by like a, a little tiny like obviously it's not a tiny rumor and i understand that this is serious and i understand there is a lot of evidence pointing towards this actually being a legitimate thing but it's like yo okay so i'm gonna scroll down because this is i'm getting a little bit off top. I, I, when i'm interested in stuff i get off topic guys all right if you don't like that you can go watch somebody else i don't care it's who i am i'm not gonna put on a fake face for other people but uh and I, well, I'm gonna have to let my brain loop around because I forgot what I was talking about. So we got the Ryzen 9 9950X, the 9900, the 97, and then the 96. And then this is the current generation of CPUs from AMD. I think it looks pretty sweet. And the performance boost is like 18% is what it said, or 14%. What was the 18%? That was like the, no, that was 13% from the other day. There was a 4090 Super that somebody made not like an actual 49 oh i remembered where i was going so the opinions of people it always comes back to me i just have to let my my mind go a bajillion miles per hour and then it eventually loops back <laughs> so it's actually something so like for those of you that because i so look i'm not going to get too far off topic we got to do the timer countdown thing so for those of you that may be struggling with high functioning autism like myself and you like you're, you're talking to people and you're constantly getting off track. What I want you to do is I want you to not try to remember what you were talking about. This is something that I've had to learn. This is something that, that has helped me a lot is timer timer is you just let your mind continue. You just let it go. You let it do its thing and it eventually will loop back. So you just, you continue with what you're currently doing. Yes. It's, it sucks that you forgot, but if people don't like you for having something that you literally did not choose to have, it's not like you were like, oh, hey, please bless me with high functioning autism. I would just really love to have that for the rest of my life so that I can be bullied, you know? Yeah, that's clearly what we do, you know? But anyways, you just let your mind continue and um, eventually, it'll, at least for me, it, it always comes back to me. So this right here, the Intel Arc Battle Mage XE2 discrete GPUs expected to use TSMC 4 nanometer process. And then if we come down here, we got the Intel Arc GPU architectures for whatever this gibberish is right here. Okay, so we got the Alchemist, Meteor Lake, Battle Mage, Lunar Lake, and Celestia. I know what these are, but these right here, I was like, yo, what is that stuff? <laughs> when I saw Battle Mage, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But uh, those are the XE2s and stuff. But yeah, man, that's pretty much everything. So but I'm going to go ahead and end the video because if I don't, I'll continue rambling. Peace.